walking after the flesh. Read Romans chapter 7 and chapter 8. Read it very carefully. Read every verse. Is it very important? Study every verse. I'm going to read a few verses in 8 for now. Uh, verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Verse 4. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. In verse 8 and 9. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none as his. Are you in the Spirit or are you in the flesh? Now this is going to blow your mind. But if you believe you have to add to your salvation... If you believe that how, how your walk in this life as a child of God will count towards your being saved one day, then you are walking in the flesh. Just like, just like the, 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 the Jews were trying to follow the law to be righteous with God, which no one could do. They're walking in the flesh. The Bible tells us no, no one will be justified this way. You're either saved by grace or you're not saved at all. Sin takes on a different meaning. As a child of God, sin takes on a different meaning. You cannot, be, you cannot live good enough, pure enough to be justified with God for your salvation.